Hello? Oh, thank God. You're in the house, right? Um, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Max. I'm one of the employees at your new job, but that's not important right now. What is important is for you to get out of there. I know someone hired you to watch over the house tonight because the family who is living there is on vacation, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't know who told you that this house needed some sort of protection, but I'm pretty sure it was a prankster. You need to get out of there. That house you're in is apparently extremely haunted, and according to some files I have here, nobody has been living there for years. I'm, I'm not sure what kind of hauntings that exist in that house, but one thing is clear. I'm sure they are trying to get to you by playing with your mind. You might even go crazy and see the exit door as a hallway, for example. Stay focused, all right? I could come over, but I'm afraid that can make things even worse. Now, you must not move from the spot you're on during the night, alright? It's extremely dangerous in this situation. It's a good thing you put up the cameras throughout the building. Use them well, but keep in mind that you can only use them for a limited amount of time at once. Watch the power meter to make sure you don't need to charge it all the way back up. If someone should come in on the left-hand side, look to the opposite side of the room and wait. Don't look at your camera, just wait. You don't want to make eye contact, understand? Though in this room they might sneak up behind you as well, I'm guessing you will then see them in the mirror above the fireplace. If this should happen, immediately pull up your camera to make them go away. Got it? You should also watch them on the camera as often as you can, as it somehow makes them go a bit slower, I think. <sighs> Once the sun rises, you are free to look for the exit, but remember, as I said, you might have trouble finding it. Heck, <laughs> they might even shut the doors and windows completely. If you don't find a way out by tomorrow night, I'll, I'll give you another call. But do not, and I repeat, do not stay in the same room two nights in a row, okay? That will make you easier to find. Good night.
okay, okay, okay. I'm just glad that you're okay. Now, where are you? The bathroom. All right, good choice. Though I'm unsure if you have a lot to protect yourself with in there. Hmm. Wait. Is there a medicine cabinet in there? If there is, take a look inside. See if you can find some medicine of some sort. I've heard that the effect that is created as soon as you take some types of medicine will drive the spirits away. Don't ask how. Maybe the reaction the medicine creates makes them think that you're dead or something. Either way, I think this is your only hope. Stay quiet, track them on the camera, and if they should find you, quickly swallow a pill or something. Then they should hopefully go away. Take the strongest medicine you can find. However, strong medicines often come with some side effects, like temporary loss of long-distance vision, loss of short-distance vision, paralysis, etc. But don't worry, these side effects will go away shortly. Keep moving during the day, okay? And I'll call you again tomorrow if you're still there. Be careful.
hello, hi, hi, this is Max. I'm, I'm just checking to see how you're doing. So, how did it go last night? You didn't feel sick or anything after eating those pills, did you? <laughs> huh? Did you take the very strong medicine? Oh, boy. Well, um, I was the one who told you to do so. So, um, the thing is, the side effects from those strong medicines don't come straight away. This means you might experience them tonight. Uh, the most common side effect is hallucination. You might think you see a normally friendly face that you've seen before, but since you're currently in this frightening situation, you might see it as something truly evil. If you see something strange on the camera, quickly switch to another camera or pull it down. If you see a hallucination in your office, though, you should then pull your pad up again. You just want a look away quickly before your mind tricks you completely. Now, in this bedroom, you have a neat tool. This is probably where the parents slept and they wanted to control the whole house. Do you see the cable on the ground that leads into the wall? Have you plugged it into your pad? Good. Now you can make static noises play in the room you're looking at by simply touching your pad. If you see some familiar ghosts, try tapping the screen many times. Hopefully the noise will scare them away because you don't really have anything else to protect yourself with in there. Okay, good night and stay safe.
Hi, hi again. Um, I thought about calling you a little bit earlier, but you see, I got caught up in this news report. The police are looking for a man who has gone missing, possibly a criminal. His name was Richard, 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 Richard something or other, I think. Pretty weird, because they interviewed some of his friends, and, you know, they all described him as a pretty friendly guy. Anyway, never mind. So, you're standing at the top of the stairs. Well, that's both good and bad at the same time. You're standing in the dark corner, right? Okay, anyone who comes in from the second floor should only be able to see your face, or more precisely, your eyes. So, if you see a shadow from the door light on the floor there, quickly cover your eyes with your hands. Though the longer you cover your eyes, the longer it takes for your eyes to get used to the dark again. Keep that in mind. But then there's the first floor. They can see you more clearly from there. You must watch the cameras to see if anyone is coming for you. The room closest to the stairs in the first floor is the, um, the, the, the old living room, I think. So, if you see someone in the living room, keep watching them on the camera for as long as you can. They will know that you're watching and they should eventually go away. So remember, if you see someone in that room, stare at them through the camera. Because if you don't look at them long enough, they will probably rush through the door, up the stairs, and do something to you. Have you got it? Good. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later.
I can hear your heavy breath through the phone. Having a good time? I'm sure you are. They'll never find me. I'm too fast for them. I know this world better than any of those fools out there. And what about you? Can you hide? Can you hide from us? <laughs> We're coming after you. But I'm sure you've figured that out already. Though, have you figured out where the exit is? I'm sure you haven't. <laughs> so, are you him? The one who did it? You sure look a lot like him. If so, let us finish what we started on back in the factory all those years ago. Hey there, um, sorry for the late phone call. I had some work that needed to get taken care of. Man, you've been there for many nights now. You must feel like a security guard or something. Okay, so where are you hiding? Oh, in the laundry, you say? Um, well, there are two doorways into the laundry, and since the room is very small, they will see you and most likely get to you should they come inside. Do you remember what I said about eye contact? Good, 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 good. So, sit with your back faced against the door. Oh, you already are. <laughs> Great. Now, things might get a bit complicated tonight. Since you can't look behind you, you must listen carefully to know if someone is standing behind your back. But it's very important to know who is standing behind you. Watch the cameras to know which one enters the laundry. This is important since all ghosts will react differently when they see you. If a, should we say, a shy or more nervous type of ghost enters your room, try to quickly look from left to right until he goes away. That should hopefully confuse him as he's probably already confused enough to begin with. Though, should a tall or more aggressive ghost find you, sit completely still and don't move. You will hear it when they go away as the sound of their breath will vanish. However, just to be sure, you should turn on the machine you see in the left-hand corner. Just click the button on it. My guess is that some specific type of ghost will avoid that annoying sound from the machine. Should any of these ghost types find you, they probably won't get fooled and no matter what you do. So to keep these away, keep the machine on. The only downside to this, however, is that the loud sound will make you unable to hear anyone behind you. Yeah. Okay. Be very careful tonight, man. And good luck.
Good evening. Hope you're having a good time in that house. So, found the exit yet? Found a way out? Found anything at all? Or does every door just lead to a wall of bricks? <laughs> so fun, so fun. I've been watching you. Indeed I have. And I must say, you look so much like him. The last face I ever should see alive. I'm sure you had fun when you did what you did, huh? When you did that to us. And we paid back. But not enough. We know you're still on this earth. And as long as you're here, we'll be here too. Looking for you. Day and night. <laughs> Wow, it's this late already. Uh, sorry for calling so late, man. I had a lot of work to take care of, and it wasn't easy to concentrate with a crazy guy running around the streets yelling, We will avenge you! What we did wasn't enough to make up for it. Or something like that. Crazy people, eh? Anyway, you're in the living room with a staircase. Okay, well, um... That's a, a very unsafe place. Um, okay, listen carefully. The family who lived in there had some kind of control mechanism in that room. You were able to toggle the lights in any room from there. However, only one light can be turned off at once. Plug the cable in the machine into your pad. Now use this to your advantage. Ghosts won't enter a completely black room. Following this logic, you can kind of block their path. However, for some reason, you can only shut the lights off in an empty room. This means you cannot shut the light off in rooms that are, there is a ghost already standing in. Should they find you, though, you really have nothing to protect yourself with. Wait, 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 wait. The, the clock, the, the big clock on the left, it will ring every hour. Since you're standing in a dark corner, they might not notice you at first if they enter your room. So, if this should happen, you must just wait and hope the clock will ring and scare them away. And since it only rings once every hour, it is essential you keep them in check with the lights. Okay, man. Good luck. Good luck time.
idiot. He 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 apologized. He apologized for them for what they did to us. I I can feel it. Their forgiveness has brought peace to both him and them. I I I feel relieved. This is your last warning! Put your hands above your head now! <laughs>